mentioned. So they have stroller parking right outside the gates and they also have stroller parking inside, right here. Recommended to park your stroller so then your kids can walk around. As you come into Toontown, you will see the Niamakees Railway Railroad. Now, to the right, as you enter, you have the hub for us where you can hang out, and characters will be here like Goofy sometimes. Sometimes they have different uh, stroller parking here, and then you have Roger Rabbit's car spin. Then they have these different buildings here, which are really cool. They're interactive. So this middle one here, over here by the fire department, if you ring the doorbell right down there, up here, you will see the dog, one of the Dalmatians. <laughs> you go around, uh, you can make it explode with the fireworks by pulling the TNT. You can pull up the lids. This is the warehouse, so the tune warehouse. Fair train. It's the post office. You have the gym. The dog pound. If you ring this little button here, and you have cats. With the glass factory. The Gag Factory used to be the store here in Toontown. Uh, you also have the powerhouse. We have the camera shop, the clock repair place, and then you come around to Minnie Mickey's. Next to Minnie Mickey's, you have Toon Center, Toon City Hall, and the courthouse. Those don't have anything in it, they're just um, outside decorations. You have the new souvenir shop here in Toontown. Engineer souvenirs, all Minnie and Mickey themed. There's a train that runs around the top. where you'll find some of your traditional Mickeys. This is the Toontown stuff. With this cute little Chip and Dale fan. And then of course they have the Mini Mickey Runaway Railroad merchandise. When you exit out of the store, you can come here and you can see the little facade for the courthouse. City Hall, little bank, Samba School. This is also where the new um, quick service is. You can do a mobile order for Cafe Daisy. They have some really yummy mini donuts. They have that uh, flip, flop over pizza. And this is where you can get your slushies. This is the Good Boy store, I think. Pluto themed, it's the market. It's also where you can pick up those picnic baskets, $25.99. You can get your picnic basket, three snack items, and a water.
Once you pass the Cafe Daisy and the Good Boy, you will hit the restrooms and a bottle refill station. Then you continue. There is going to be your Minnie Mouse house where you can meet and greet with Minnie Mouse and then walk through her house. Right now there's a 10 minute wait. Minnie must be making cookies. A tea garden in the back. Oh, it's a meet and greet at the, her tea garden today. Here's Mickey's house where you can walk through. Now Mickey's house, you walk through it, enjoy his house, and then his line is in the back. It's really air conditioned and nice and cool. You come out here out of his garage. It's a fun experience. There's Mickey's car. And if you keep going, come back here. Now, if you are familiar with Old Toontown, this is where Chippendale's house used to be. But now they sell popcorn here. And they have a nice little sitting area back here. And a lot of it's in the shade. So that's pretty cool. And we have this little shady area back here. And then, we have the Gadgets Coaster, which is now also Chippendale's Coaster. So it's all three. We were told by a cast member that Chippendale and Gadget have moved in together. And they're all hanging out over here at the coaster. Now, the coaster here in Toontown is going to be like your first introduction to a coaster. It um, is Chippendale's Gadget Coaster now. 35 inch height requirement. Donald's house is under construction right now, but I have some footage from that from an earlier time. So I will show more of that later. We have Donald's house with this pond. Fun little tulip twisters. Now you used to be able to walk up there in Donald's house, but you can't anymore. His is just interactive windows on the Miss Daisy. There's also a little toddler area back here. So they have little things here. Let's see what happens. Bubbles. <laughs> it's Webby is in there. Her seat lasts. If you continue, you get to Goofy's house. And I really like what they did with Goofy's house. It's a lot more interactive. Uh, this is the outside of Goofy's house. It's pretty cool. This front door. You can't go into the front door of Goofy's house. You have to go through his play yard. Oh, look at these fun drawings. So this is Goofy's backyard. There's lots of interactions. If you go across the bridge here, it makes noise. There's these little hopscotch on the ground. There's slides. There's ropes to climb. Just all sorts of fun interaction. And then you go into Candy Maker. Goofy's house is now a Candy Maker theme. It still has elements of Goofy and Max. at Donald's house again. Sometimes there's Donald meet and greets right out here. So that's kind of fun. Some of the characters come out here and meet and greet. And then we're right back where we started. Oh, there is one little 
thing. There's a Central Park right off to the side and that will conclude our tour of Toontown. Super exciting. I love the way they reimagined it. It just opened it up, gives it a lot more space. The fountains in the middle. Then we have Central Toon Park. Where you can crawl and 